A tubular steel frame connects to the engines at three points with a pair of down tubs that mount the radiator up under the steering head. Instead of the old backbone style frame, this new set of bones has an external structure similar to a trellis frame, and a die cast aluminum subframe mounts the rear fender struts while keeping things light at the ass end. A tubular swing arm completes the standing rigging with a pair of coil over shocks on damping duties. The 28 degree steering head angle and 4.3 inches of trail gives the Rebels a stable demeanor that helps keep the ride from feeling too squirrely, but depending upon which model you choose you are still looking at something between 364 and 414 pounds curve weight so that will only help so much. You're still going to feel every gust of wind and pressure wave from the surrounding traffic. At 41 millimeters. The front forks are rather beefy for such a small bike and they provide a fairly plush ride with 4.77 inches of travel at the axle, but come with nothing in the way of adjustments. In back, the dual coil over shocks give up 3.77 inches of travel and come with the usual, read, minimal, preload adjuster but nothing else. One thing that hasn't changed much is seat height, at 27.2 inches tall the new gen is only around a half inch taller than the original. I gotta say that if that's too tall for you, perhaps the two-wheel life isn't in your cards. <laughs>